dear friends around the world, Happy New Year. When I took office one year ago, I appealed for 2017 to be a year for peace. Unfortunately, in fundamental ways, the world has gone in reverse. On New Year's Day 2018, I'm not issuing an appeal. I'm issuing an alert, a red alert for our world. As a religious leader, what message do you send out there? As a politician, what message do you send out there? As a citizen, a believer or follower of a religion, what message do you receive? Conflicts have deepened and new dangers have emerged. Global anxieties about nuclear weapons are the highest since the Cold War. And climate change is moving faster than we are. Inequalities are growing and we see horrific violations of human rights. Nationalism and xenophobia are on the rise and as we begin 2018, I call for unity. I truly believe we can make our world more safe and secure. We can settle conflicts, overcome hatred and defend shared values, but we can only do that together. I urge leaders everywhere to make this New Year's resolution. Narrow the gaps, bridge the divides, rebuild trust by bringing people together around common goals. Unity is the path. Our future depends on it. I wish you peace and health in 2018. Thank you. Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 10. Because even because they have seduced my people, saying, Peace. And there was no peace. And one built up a wall. UN and law, others dealt it with untempered murder. Reverend, the truth is out there. Will you also reject it?